Yo guys, what's up? Depression boy Chris here. And I'm just kidding, you know what I'm saying? I got mites, but who cares, you know what I'm saying? Be positive. It's time to be positive. No, but I'm gonna be pretty much spending all of tomorrow trying to clean this humongous enclosure. Look at this. I have to clean out this humongous freaking enclosure, man. Oh, that's gonna be a hassle. I was able to clean out this 40 gallon. You know what I'm saying? It's spicking, it's spickety spuckety clean. You dig? And it got the blue tongue in there, all quarantined and stuff. Got that razor tail freaking mark. My leg hella bruised. But yeah, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to breed continental roaches. All right, and if you're ramb <laughs> if you're randomly stumbling across this video, you would probably be like, "Yo, why is this guy talking, taking so long to start talking about the roaches that I came here for?" Well, I'll tell you, my dude. I don't actually have a reason, but yeah. So I need to clean out this freaking nasty tank because these roaches. I'm gonna be honest, they're not the cleansiest, cleansiest of roaches, like. Look at this, I've had this colony way less amount of time than I've had my Dubia Roach colony. And look how clean this one is. I've had this one for probably a little over a year now. How the hell is that physically possible? Okay. Oh, stick that in there, boy. All right, but for real. Um, let's get into this. So first things first, um, you're going to need a bunch of these junks right here. All right. And this, that's just pretty much so that the roaches can hide. You dig? But since I'm just cleaning out my enclosure right now, I'm pretty much just going to be getting all the roaches off like this. You know what I'm saying? Just banging them off. All the babies and stuff. And then once that's done, oh, I'm going to put it to the side. And then I suggest you have like a trash bag or whatever if you're cleaning out your enclosure, just so you could throw away this type of stuff. Um, easy, any organic matter that you don't want to keep in there. Whoa. They've ate around the core of the apple. Never seen that before. But yeah, so I'm gonna pretty much do all of that. Oh wait, hold up, I wanna explain this real quick. So you see those things right there? Those are egg sacs, my dude. I think the scientific term, if you want to be all scientific, is called an uthica. You dig? And yeah, so they lay these things and then babies will come out of them a little bit after. So if you're cleaning out your enclosure, you might want to plop these off and then just put them into the substrate just so there's a chance of them hatching. So yeah, I'm going to get into that and then I'll see you once I'm done. My colony do be booming though. But I should probably get back to work. But just look how dirty this junk is. Bunch of organic matter. There's a random wasp in there. Just cause I thought... Oh my gosh. Just cause I thought it looked cool. But yeah, so this is pretty much what I'm doing. Just knocking them over, you know what I'm saying? They fall in there, take off any of the egg sacs, drop, in, drop them in there, and then go on to the next piece of thing. So let me get back to it. Yo, Jesus Christ. So that's what the Uthaka looks like on the roach when it's still developing. And there's one that's more mature. But damn, y'all need to get yeeted. Oh, hell no. Okay guys, now I promise the next clip of me will be when I'm done. I keep on forgetting that I said that. I Oh, as you can see, I have taken out all of the egg cartons, you dig? And you can see that these are climbing plastic somewhat high. And you'd be wondering, yo, I do not want a roach, my dude, that could climb the plastics. So I got two solutions for you. First, Vaseline. So you are going to want to put Vaseline all along the bin or whatever that you use. 
Okay, okay, okay. So as you can see, I did that. And I'm gonna be honest, when I first started breeding these, pretty much all of them would be able to climb up this junk. But I've selectively started to breed them so that they're not as prone to being able to climb up this junk. So for instance, most of the males, well, this is just from what I've observed. There's not much like, at least from what I've been able to find, there's not much that's about these freaking roaches, but the males are more prone to climbing the glass or smooth surfaces. Let's just say that. And the females, not so much. And pretty much it's because as you can see the females, those are the thick ones. You know what I'm saying? The moist thick. All right. So those ones, their spiky little fingers or whatever legs cannot grip or grip enough to support their body weight. And the males, hold up. As you can see, most of the males that I have, which are the ones with the wings, um, one right there. There's another one somewhere else. They're much skinnier and they have much spikier legs. So they're able to climb up smooth surfaces much easier. But I've been taking out the ones that I see are able to climb out smooth surfaces and feed them off. Just so over time, I ha I'll have a colony that is more, more prone to giving off offspring that will not have those sticky legs that could climb surfaces. Because look how far they're able to get up. Not too far until they fall. So they can't even really reach the Vaseline. And once they reach the Vaseline, it's overs. They cannot get up. So I suggest you put Vaseline on your thing. And yeah, once you got the Vaseline, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Um, I, I do suggest you use substrate even though okay so there's pros and cons to everything in life guys okay and one pro to using substrate is the babies you're able to have way more babies and i like having baby versions of these because i have a lot of baby animals that just love munching on these freaking roaches and they're real fatty as you can see they're really thick so so are the babies so it really it boosts the um growth of baby animals so i love having these for what the hell happened to my... Ugh. Anyways. So I love having baby versions of these. You know what I'm saying? So I like having a deep substrate. Not too deep. Like about an inch. And that'll just allow more um, area that the babies can hide under when they're first born. And then I have a few of these things. Which you can just find outside. And if you're scared that it might have anything harmful, you can just boil it. So I have a few of these. A lot of babies like to hide in those as well. And pine cones, my dude. Freaking pine cones. So if you want to be able to grab a certain amount of baby roaches, they all love to hide in these freaking pine cones, bro. Just the babies. And it's usually the exact right size. So as like the pine cone that you have. So I might actually collect some more pine cones tomorrow. And I, I don't know if I'll put it in the video. And I might place them throughout here just because this is a great, great, great hiding spot for the roaches I've discovered. So, yeah, pine cones are your friends. So, yeah, pine cones, these little things, just smaller little hiding areas, you know what I'm saying? Substrate, and yeah, you want a food dish, got some roach diet in here. Maybe you're gonna, damn, I can't even put this back. Maybe even a food tray or something, like a food bowl where you could put some leafy greens. But honestly, I just throw them in there. I just chuck them in there, as you can see. So now I'm going to take out all the leafy greens, and then I'll show you how to set up your egg cartons. And just might as well take a moment. Just take a moment and hit that like button. Maybe that comment button. All right, I love, I love responding to you, my guys. All right, and once I'm big, I won't be able to respond to all of you. So might as well get a response out of me while I'm small. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let me just pick out all those nasties. So, pretty much have finished just gathering all that um, nasty organic matter. Um, there is little pieces here and there that I cannot grab just because I'll be here all night. 
and it's way past my bedtime. Believe it or not, I do got a bedtime. So it's small enough that the roaches should just eat it off. So I'm not gonna really worry about that. And yeah, so all that green stuff should be gone within like a week or so. So now, hold up, one last thing. I just scratched my freaking hand with my phone because all those tanks I was scrubbing, I guess I cut myself, I don't know. But, so I used these little plastic cups as the water dishes. I'm just trying to get these junks off. Damn, I'm so good at recording. You see that little white roach? It just molted, pretty dope. But I don't wanna flop this out. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna take this nasty stuff out, throw away this plastic cup, get a new one, and put into new water gel. And I'm actually gonna put it sideways like this so I could just fill it up partially. So this is what water gel I use. Um, I actually buy my own from like Amazon or whatever. Hold up, can I set this up? Dope. So I actually buy my own from Amazon. And let me get the container real quick. Hopefully that don't fall. This is what I use. Um, water storing crystals for plants, insects, arts, and crafts. So yeah, this is pretty cheap. And I use like probably like a pinch full just to fill up that whole jar. So this is gonna last me a pretty freaking long time, my dude. The fluker stuff from like Petco or your local pet shop because it's low-key a scam. You can just make your own, okay? So anyways, I'm gonna put that in there just like so. Let me show you how much to fill it up. It's like diarrhea, you dig? All right, so I think I'm gonna pour a little more actually. I'm just gonna plop it in. So I think I'm gonna put it in like right about here. All right, so now these are all the things I'm using. Also that one, I already started putting it in, but I know a lot of people say you should put it sideways, but my thing isn't tall enough. And yeah, I want to do it like this. Don't hate, just appreciate. So I got these things. You could just ask for extra at McDonald's. And usually McDonald's be kind of dope and be giving it to you. So don't hate, just appreciate on McDonald's, my dude. All right, hold on. How can I do this smart? But the pine cone. Oh, hell no. You know, I'm just going to do it like that. All right. And then these little things, just for them to lay their egg sacs in. I have little cut up pieces of those all around. Lay that one right there. Lay. How can I lay this? Like that. Maybe, maybe. Lady. If you know that song, you're a real one. And it's crazy. Damn, everyone's asleep right now. It's like 12 o'clock. I need to chill. How the hell do I... What am I using this for? I'm gonna save this. I almost got all of them off. All right, Junk's chilling. Put one of these right here. All right, all right, all right. I think that's enough. So this compared to, oh my gosh, that is nasty, nasty. That is nasty, nasty. So yeah, they're enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? That one got its antenna bit off. Battles of War. But yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on the continental roaches. You know what I'm saying? I know they're not too popular of a species to keep. Um, the only people that really keep them are like roach hobbyists. And yeah. And their scientific name are continental roaches. I don't think that's their scientific name, but like they're... I don't even know what the hell that name is. But um, the more common name that you guys might know them as, because they are a native species to North America is the water bug or the black water bug yeah whoever told you guys that water bugs aren't even roaches 
they're freaking lying to your face, okay? They are roaches. They're in the same species of roaches. So, yeah, don't believe them. The big black water bugs are actual roaches, and these are them right here, aka continental roaches. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. For real, for real. And I'll see you on the next one. Late. Oh, my God, dude. It's, it's like nighttime. I need to go ask for my pills. Late.